Welcome back. Great to have you. Rush Limbaugh here and the EIB Network. Folks, I have a stack here. I printed out a fan mail that you know, I would love to read all of it to you. It, it is from parents and children who have written in about the book, Rush, Revere, and the Brave Pilgrims. And people are sending pictures of their kids standing in front of the bookshelf happily reading the book after happily buying the book. Uh, the cutest, cutest pictures that you've seen. But I, I do want to share one with you here quickly. Dear Mr. Limbaugh, I pre-ordered your book. I've been anxiously awaiting its arrival. I couldn't wait to read it to my six- and eight-year-old boys. Then I heard you mention how one family who had kids similar ages really liked the audio version and that it was four and a half hours long, and that you did it. I was so excited to hear this. See, I drive my boys 25 miles to school one way every day so that they can attend a private school. 25 miles a day. wonder how many of you do that. That it would surprise us. We spent a lot of time in the car. My two boys usually eat two meals a day in the car. So we enjoy listening to audiobooks. Well, I downloaded Rush Revere yesterday morning, and I started to play it as we left the driveway. My boys listened intently the whole way there. And as we got out of the car, they said, rush, rush, rush into school. It doesn't stop there. I was a driver that day for my eight-year-old's class for a field trip to a planetarium. As soon as we got in my car with two other boys from my son's class, my son said, we have to listen to Rush Revere. I turned it on, and I didn't hear a peep out of those three boys for 45 minutes until we got to our location. Now, think about that. A car with three eight-year-old boys and not a sound rush It was glorious. As they got out of my car, they were all saying, rush, rush, rush into history. We walked inside. We took our seat in the planetarium. We were waiting for the program to start. My eight-year-old said, you have your phone. Please play Rush Revere. I told him that they wouldn't be able to hear it on the phone and that we wouldn't have much time. But he still begged me to play it anyway. After the planetarium program was over and we were... Walking back to my car, my son started singing, Rush Revere, uh, uh, I like it, to the tune of That's the Way I Like It by KC and the Sunshine Band. And we headed back to school, again, another peaceful car ride, as the boys intently listened the whole way. When I picked up my boys from school, they get out every day at 12, 10 or so, so I always listen to you on the way home. They immediately said, can we listen to Rush Revere? And I said, no, I want to listen to Rush. They said, I don't want to listen to the regular Rush. I want to listen to Rush Revere. Later that day, we stopped at the grocery store. And I happened to be walking down the book aisle. My son spotted your book, was so excited to see it. So that may be a place that your audience should check if they're unable to find your book at a regular bookstore. It was in a grocery store. So... Anyway, P.S., if you have a moment, take a look at the Veterans Day program my boys' school puts out every year. This is just a sample, folks, of the, of the mail that we are getting from, from people who are uh, really getting into this. It is so gratifying, and it, it just I can't, I can't thank you enough. This is a whole new pathway for me, and it's a whole new entree to... Uh, to, to a, an audience demo that there'd be otherwise no way we would have on this program. So you parents are fabulous. Um, I, and I, I will admit, you know, I'm not jealous. If the kids would rather listen to Rush Revere than me, I mean, that's just the way it is. They like Rush Revere. Rush Revere is a likable guy. Made sure of it. What, Snurdly? What? Well, I've not been told if we've been sent any videos or not. But I, you're right. That will be the um, next thing to come. Anyway, a whole stack of this stuff. I mean, it's just literally pouring in. And if you folks, by the way, if you uh, if you haven't done this, you ought to show if you have a kid or two who likes the book, make sure that you take them 
to the twoifbyt.com website. And by the way, we're going to post some of these pictures at the rushlimbaugh.com website. We've both covered. But take the kids to the twoifbyt.com site because that's where the Rush Revere pain is or the portal. And you can see where Rush Revere and Liberty live. And the, the, the Two Up by T factory is there, the mailbox to send email. And we finally have uh, have installed the, the EIB broadcast tower and complex in the uh, – well, it's not a map. It's an actual, it's an actual drawing of, of where they live. And if, I'm not going to say there's a little surprise if you click on the EIB broadcast tower that the kids will like. They'll get a big uh, – Big charge up.